Opening today just in time for some cooler weather. The trailhead at Piesta will peak getting a new look and it's beautiful. Uh, yeah, you're going to see a lot of big changes out there. However, you still have to do the work when it comes to the <laughs> hike up the mountain. Kim is out there this morning to check it all out for us. Kimmy, good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you guys. So they actually made the first very small part of the hike a little bit easier. They added these stairs here. After that, the next 2.2 miles, you're on your own. But alleviating a lot of headaches with the changes here at Piestawa Peak, uh, some of which would have been the parking. I've got Greg with Phoenix Parks with us this morning. So there were a lot of issues with parking in this section of Piestawa Peak before the construction. Tell us a little bit about some of the changes to help uh, hikers out. Yeah, so certainly this is a very high track traffic uh, area for, for, for the hiking community. And so what we did was we reconfigured the lot. We added about 20 additional spaces and then connected those as well too with a big vehicle and pedestrian bridge. So it'll help uh, with the traffic flow, flow throughout the trailhead and also make it easier for people to get to and from the trails out here. You guys have also added more shade. Yes, a lot more shade. We've added a number of uh, ramadas, new ramadas out here and renovated some other ones. So places for people to maybe come out and have a picnic or just to come out and get under the shade a little bit after you've done your hike. Of course, very important important hydration. You've also added new water stations. Yes, we have a bunch of new uh, drinking fountains out here, a, a water bottle fill station, so you can make sure to have plenty of water when you're going on your hike or when you come down off the mountain and need to get a little bit more to drink. Uh, lots of things out there to help you stay hydrated and safe. So this is just one part of a five-year plan that started back in 2017. What's the next phase? What can hikers that come down here expect? Any closures? Uh, no, no closures. The good thing is that we've been able to keep the trails out here open the whole time during this construction, but as they go further uh, back into the trailhead area, we have some work being done on some of those parking areas, some work to some additional ramadas and some additional spaces where people can uh, just enjoy being out here. All right, so they've got the grand reopening of this specific portion of Piestawa Peak that takes place at 830. We'll bring you highlights coming up in the 9 o'clock hour. For now, we're live at Piestawa Peak. I'm Kim Quintero for Arizona's Family. Uh, sounds good, Kimmy. Thank you. Right now, just in time for some cooler weather, the trailhead at Piestawa Peak is getting a new look. Pretty nice, right? Crews have been hard at work for quite a while to get this ready. So Kim is out there this morning. Uh, she is good to go on her uh, activity. She's already done pull-ups. I mean, you probably won't even need to work out today. Good morning to you guys. Yes, we are getting our workout in this morning, but we're also celebrating the grand reopening of Piestoa Peak. We're actually in the middle of a ceremony right now taking place in just moments. They're going to cut the ribbon on the renovation. So here's what they actually did. They added 22 new parking spaces to Piestoa Peak. Uh, the main parking lot as you pull in was kind of reconfigured to uh, be more of a stress relief for hikers that would get uh, logged up in all the traffic. They They've also added six new bathrooms. They've added a number of uh, water faucets, water fountains, a water refilling station. They've got a, a number of ramadas that they've added. They've got pull-up bars. So uh, really great upgrades to Piestawa Peak. This is the second tallest mountain in the Phoenix Mountain Preserve, uh, second to Camelback Mountain. But this mountain is very special because it is named after Lori Ann Piestawa. Lori Ann Piestawa was the first Native, Native American woman killed in combat overseas. Uh, this was named after her uh, back in 2003. So in attendance for today's ceremony is actually Lori Ann's mother. We spoke with her just moments ago. Take a listen. You know what? Since we lost Lori, we've, I've been on this journey. My husband and I were on this journey together up until two years ago, and then I lost him. But it's amazing, the love, the friendship, the people we meet are so caring, so loving. Everybody is just, you know, and, and we have to remember that it's not just about Lori. It's about all those who have sacrificed and all those who have put themselves out on the line for us. So witnessing this too. So that was Percy. Percy told us that she is ecstatic of these changes of Piestoa Peak. She actually hiked Piestoa Peak for the first time this July. She admitted it was a little tricky, no doubt, in the middle of summer. But this is just one phase of a five-year renovation plan taking place that started back in 2017, uh, should be finished in just a couple of years, but a $21 million project approved by the voters. So uh, now that this section of Piestoa Peak is reopened, they're going to move further up 
up uh, to add more parking, add more bathrooms, more water fountains, et cetera. Uh, but certainly a special day here for the hiking community, for the Paestua family, and for the city of Phoenix. Live in Phoenix, I'm Kim Quintero for Arizona's Family. All right. Great. If it gets her seal of approval, Absolutely. then yeah, it's good to go. So good to see her. Mm -hmm.